In today's episode, we're exploring the abandoned Fernald State School in Massachusetts. Don't let its innocent sounding name fool you, as this place has one of the darkest histories of any that we've explored. The facility, originally called the Experimental School for Teaching and Training Idiotic Children, dates back to the late 1800s and over the years would be home to a litany of abuses. These include forced sterilization as part of a eugenics program, allegations of physical and sexual assault by employees, and even a well-documented case of children unknowingly becoming test subjects when they were repeatedly fed radioactive oatmeal. Now join us as we venture inside the massive 186-acre property to see what's left. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Get 70% off a three-year plan plus an additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash properpeople. Although the facility was called a school, students here actually spent half as much time in classrooms as students in the public school system. In actuality, it functioned more like a prison, a way to keep children deemed feeble-minded out of the general population. The students were almost never allowed to leave the facility, and many would grow up and spend their entire lives within the walls of Fernald. Feeling this frustration, the boys would often lash out in violence, and their supposed caretakers would become increasingly violent back. So we are in the open here. Yeah. Nothing. There's cribs over here. Did you see all the people set up on the uh, no, windowsill? No, I didn't. These were pushed down the stairs. Oh, that door's wide open. I know. We're treating this place like way more difficult than it actually is. It Based on how trash and open it is, there shouldn't be any issues. This place is extremely empty. Yeah. Fuck. See anything? Nothing. No one's moving. Nothing's out there. Since this building was entirely empty, we decided to start hopping between different buildings to look for stuff that was left behind. So we finally found a building that has some stuff in it. So it's like a cafeteria. Got your food trays here. Lots of food trays. It's weird how they made them so thick. They don't really stack efficiently. There's a bed here. It's always nice when the piano is smashed apart. No downs. Yeah. I guess this place doesn't have a tunnel system. It does have a good amount of stuff in this building though. So it's like more kitchen. There's an old rear projection TV right here with its screen ripped out. Look, these are all payment vouchers, billing documents. In the years 2000, that's not even that old. So 
that a tunnel? Not navigable. Damn. Check this out. New concepts in education for profoundly retarded persons. Wow. That wording wouldn't go over too well today. Do we have a year? They just use sounds or gestures. Ah uh, means general demand. Da means success. This is if you can't speak. Yeah. Clapping noises. means finished or all done. Mm, approval. Any prolonged vowel is a complaint or a request. Teaching them the object in an image and then the real object. Sorry, you can't come. <laughs> kind of a weird design. You have to go into like that tight corner. Yeah. To get in. Uh oh, there's pigeon poop all over this floor. Maybe we should skip this one for now. It's just gonna get worse as you go up. It's wow. It's actually not that bad. That's a pile right there, though. Fucking it's only bad right by the door. Adult CPR train. This floor looks way emptier. It does. They probably moved everything to the basement. These were for the projectors that yeah, there's some the slide projectors. Oh, this floor is not empty. There's definitely some stuff up here. Yeah. There's Kodak Ektachrome film. Or for the slides. It's a person. Small group instruction with the moderately and severely handicapped. Ethical and legal issues of resuscitating the terminally ill. These are a bunch of trunks. Plastic ones? I almost thought they were suitcases from a distance. There was a big fire in here. Looks like there was equipment in these crates at one point. A lot of slides in here. This looks like where the fire was. A little maintenance room. There's a really old looking fridge here. Is it a GM one? Nothing inside. Oh, there's some stuff. Whatever that is. Westinghouse? Westinghouse. Yeah. This next bit might be a little sketchy. So we have to go wide out in the open. There's the front gate. There's nothing there. Not even like a, a security booth. Yeah, but someone could probably drive up and make it raise. Like, that still looks pretty new. Yeah. Right, let's just get to a building quickly. This is door. a chapel in the oldest building on the campus right here. These two. Hopefully they're okay. Yeah. Let's just get away from this main road as quick as possible. Head between these two buildings, maybe. Expansion has open windows. That's wide open right there. Yeah, hopefully it connects. Oh, 
watch all these doors be locked. It's wrecked. Let's go this way where the old building is. I hear something coming from this room. Oh yeah, there's something over right here. Okay, just emergency power. Load connected to emergency. Load connected to normal is turned off. So there is some kind of power. Yeah, just emergency power, I guess. Are we in the old building yet? I don't yeah, think so. I think, I think so. this Up is here. the transition. This is where it's starting. Yeah. This is... That's a vault. <laughs> no way that's opening. That's another vault that's open. It's pretty big. Holy shit. Those both connected to the same vault? No, they're different vaults. This one's open. This is a huge vault. Holy crap. Yeah. It would be where I put all the files. I wonder what kind of files would have been so important that they needed to be. Is this where they kept their the secret uh, experiment Maybe. files? Maybe. Recorded observation and activity document, medication status and history, electrocardiogram, electroencephalogram. Look how thick the wall is, too. Don't even joke. <laughs> that would be bad if I got locked in here. Here's the main lobby. The waiting area is still set up, kind of. Is, is that, that Mr. Fernald? It is. Walter Elmore Fernald. One of the most incredulous tales of wrongdoing to emerge from Fernald is that of the radioactive oatmeal. In the late 40s and 50s, 74 boys aged 10 to 17 joined the school's science club, enticed by the promise of trips off the school grounds and other perks. The science club, however, was really a basis for a series of research studies carried out by MIT and funded by the Quaker Oats Company, who hoped to find evidence of their oatmeal's nutritional benefits for marketing purposes. However, in order to carry out this research, the students were fed oatmeal containing radioactive tracers. None of the students were aware of this fact until decades later, when a number of government documents related to radiation testing were declassified. In 1998, MIT and Quaker Oats were forced to pay nearly $2 million to the victims nearly half a century after the experiments occurred. Here's a map of what the residence houses and service Oh yeah. Buildings. And each of these had floor plans of each building, I'm assuming. It's like 56 or 58. Utility runs, but who knows where the if there were tunnels. They probably aren't accessible from a tunnel anymore, at least. Yeah. We can confirm that. We've looked pretty dang hard for tunnels. Should we just casually walk around with a smaller, uh, full map of the entire complex? Jeez, that really is the entire place. Even the and the wash ones. That's cool. This is the... Should get a pic of this. Yeah, we came in here and we've been walking around. We're over here now. And then we still have these buildings here. I think these are really old. This one at least looked pretty old. A lot of buildings left to explore.
Wow, theater. I don't think I've ever seen pictures of this place before. No, I haven't. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty out there. I just haven't seen them. Auditorium. The ceiling reminds me a lot of Westboro State Hospital. Kind of does. Very reminiscent of that auditorium. Looks like there was a medical cross on the ground, right in the center. I want to find like a fallout shelter again or something. Those are always cool. Coffee machine, hot chocolate, Got soup, too. soup even. Wow. And a beepus. <laughs> still, there's still stuff in there. It's the sugar and the cream. That building over there has a fence only around that building. So I'm thinking it was abandoned much earlier than the others and it might have some cool old stuff in there. So I kind of want to try to see that one. This building's a lot older. I can already tell. At least abandoned longer ago. Yeah. No, but it hasn't been renovated or anything. No. This has been closed for a long time. Okay, I like this building a lot more than all the others already. Even if there's less in it. The old doors. See, now this is reminding me of a proper asylum right now. Still mostly empty, but still cool. Yeah. There's a lot of decay. Yeah. The window frame is on the floor. It's pretty heavily decayed, yeah. Oh, yeah, here's the floor collapsing into the basement. Oh, but there's no stairs down. There might be on the other side. Let's go the other way first. Look at the floor here. Second floor might be dangerous. It's just wood. It is. There's sad chairs in here too. We've seen these in another asylum before. Probably the same person made the sad chairs. Were they all frowning though? Weren't there some smiling ones? No, oh, okay. Sad chairs, just chilling. These desks look really old. These wooden ones. The wood's all warped set up by urbexers. So they kind of just face a fireplace. It's chilly in here. floor are completely caving in. Going upstairs is going to be difficult. I mean, we've been on sketchier floors, I feel like. 
can usually see where it's not doing too well. I'll just tread carefully. Okay, that end of the building is screwed. Holy cow. Going caving in. All right, guess we're turning around. Sure. It's probably gonna be just for this wing, but like, you can just look at what it looks like up there. Creepy looking fire door. Yeah, I think it is. You put sheets of metal on it. Okay, be very careful here. The floor is just gone over there. Nothing that's worth it. The floor is starting to fall apart here. too. You can see the cracks in the brick. Let's go back to the other yeah. side. Yeah. There's a projector here. Oh, monitors. There's a bathtub in here. holes in the floor everywhere up here. Pretty sketch. Wait, do you want to go sit on that chair? Yeah, how much would I have to pay you to sit on that chair? Exactly where it is. <laughs> Careful where you're stepping. I wouldn't step anywhere in that room. I was going to go sit in the chair. That chair is hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Check out that door frame. It's probably too jammed to open, or not. Careful. Sports padding, maybe? Yeah, I don't think it was... Yeah, a little typewriter in the closet down there. Yeah. Probably unsafe down there. Check out this front area though. C34. It actually looks okay. This place would be really spooky at nighttime. It would be. Yeah, these rooms are all gonna be empty, I bet. And just generally unsafe. Yeah, I haven't seen a single thing yet. I'm gonna turn back. I 
1982. Every room is a different color. I was just in the yellow pastel room. And this is like the pink pastel. And then you've got the blue pastel. Check it out, these are all Polaroids. They're kind of gross, covered in dirt. You can see the roof is almost non-existent. Just the ceiling is left. The light oh, yeah. is shining right through. That could fall on our heads right now. It could. And it probably won't until it snows heavily, which winter just ended. You so can see the sky right through here. I guess it survived until next year. This is an old creepy basement. Lots of exposed stone. Could these be the tunnels we were searching for? It's like a throne. I bet you behind that door though, tunnel. probably tunnel. I think they filled them all in or sealed them off here or something. Old laundry machine and a, another toothpaste colored fridge. These are employee handbooks with the school name on it. Oh shit, are these like hydrotherapy tubs right here? Yeah. Like portable ones, maybe. Well, I think they got them down here. Yeah, I guess. They're stacked up on top of each other. Or they could just be normal bathrooms. Yeah, I don't know, I don't if, they're know if they're portable. They just were moved down here. Yeah. Um, it's collapsing. Oh yeah, this is below that one room where the chair was just barely hanging on. There's a bike. Do you see the bicycle right there? Outside. Oh yeah. This is fucking dangerous, but there's a rusty old bike right there. I think the bricks were meant to be like that. Chairs are welcoming us in though. This is a pretty sick kitchen, not gonna lie. They would have had to feed a lot of people here. Big place. Check out the ceiling in here. That's a lot of peels. There's a lot of furniture shoved in here. Floor is gross over here. Oh shit, we got chandeliers in here. This must have been... Maybe a mess hall? Yeah, a big kitchen at one served. point. Yeah, it says dining room right there. Yeah, this is the dining room. Don't take room. something out of the dining room. And there's just stuff thrown in here for storage. All kinds of photos. Can you spot any of the buildings?
face is cut out of this one. Someone tried to burn this. Mostly photos of people. Oh, some of these were patients. I'm sure at the time these photos were taken, the abuse stuff was already over. Because that was way in the past. I'm sure towards the end they were actually, you know, being caring and taking care of people here. Yeah. This shows that they were like doing stuff with the patients, not just shutting them in a shell. Yeah. In a, um, I don't a cell, think I've ever letting them rot away. We ever found patient pictures in an asylum before. No, we have not. Just a lot of storage. Is that the ceiling collapsing? No, it's just the lights falling. Uh huh. That's there is weird. a baby carriage here. Not super antique looking, but pretty old. What's on those? It's a check from 1976. We'll get this chair. Could you strap it now these are child restraining chairs. I think they are. Maybe not that one, I don't see straps, but... It's a child restraining seat. Definitely this one is. It doesn't even look that old either. I mean, I'm sure stuff like this is still used today. I mean, I'm sure in another context, this would just be a device that isn't that creepy, but in the context of this place, it's creepy. Look, this is where a kid would be on here and they'd be able to like roll themselves around. Yeah. Their legs would go through that because they can't support themselves standing up. I mean, those head. still kind of exist. They do, but this one looks kind of old. Definitely. Like out there. Holy shit, look at this. It's a dead vulture in here. Wow. Check out this wing. This wing's completely gone. This is where it was burned out. The walls are even collapsing. I got this piano with all the leaves on it. It doesn't look like any are gonna work. It's all jammed up with leaves and the hammers. I knew this was going to be Gonco as soon as we were walking up on it because we've encountered a few of these at other asylums. Roof's not looking too hot right above you. Nope. A 
Ohio Pediatric Aerosol Tent. So this is probably one of those oxygen tents of some kind. This is another vacuum. It's an old computer right here. This big thing? Yeah. Is that an Apple computer? I think it is. Macintosh Plus. Oh, it's split open though. I was going to say it looked fairly intact. Today, the local government is slowly working on remediating the property and has already demolished several buildings. Some of the structures are protected due to their historic status, but there doesn't seem to be any will to do anything with the property anytime soon. These buildings are a reminder of our dark history of dealing with mental illness, and one day, all physical traces of this could be erased. But for now, they'll continue to sit overgrown and dilapidated. The sponsor of today's video, NordVPN, makes it super easy to take control of your internet experience. If you're stuck at home during this quarantine and looking for something to do, NordVPN can unlock region-restricted streaming using their thousands of servers in over 60 countries. Did you know that shows like Fargo, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Top Gear, and even Rick and Morty are on Netflix, just not available in the USA? With NordVPN, you can connect to a country server like the UK and watch them included with your subscription. It's a perfect way to gain access to titles across multiple streaming platforms that may have availability depending on your region. The service also avoids internet tracking with 256-bit AES encryption and no data logging policy with their super fast servers and unlimited bandwidth. And right now, you can get 70% off a three-year plan plus an additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com properpeople.